Hey guys, welcome. So time for episode five of Dan to Dan, and this one is called like, where are your balls? So that's a personal question. I'm not answering it. So last episode was, what was it called? I just watched it. Kicking Turbo Granny's ass, Mobo and Ocarun, with the help of Grandma, took on Turbo Granny. There was giant crabs, possessed people, dead girls, uh, trains. It was awesome. I literally just watched it and I'm still on a high and I cannot wait to watch this episode because like I told you last time, I'm kind of playing catch up. I was out of action for about three weeks with an illness. So now I'm like scrambling to get all the content back into my brain. So without further ado, let's go. Hey guys, so check out my Patreon link down below with all my socials. So come say hi, don't forget like and subscribe. Because Ocarin got his willy back from Turbo Granny because he was using her power to upgrade himself to like a superhero and she didn't like that. So he returned the willy, she possessed him, but then they defeated her so now he doesn't have any He doesn't have any spirit powers now. So he's just a normal boy now. That was my big question from last episode. Is he just a normal kid now? And he's got a crush on Momo. And she got a crush on him too. Yeah, is she waiting for friends? Or is she waiting for him? Wait, what? Dude! Where are your balls? Say hello to the cute girl. She's like, what are you doing? We're friends, right? She was waiting for him. He's like, what? No way. Hot girl wasn't waiting for me at the gate. She was. Like anybody would skip the intro. I can't help it. The song is just sick. All right. Like, where are your balls? So this one is... I'd imagine this one's going to be a much slower paced episode. It's going to be about Momo and Okaroon catching up and being normal at school, having a normal day, not having any spirit monsters or aliens trying to kill him. I don't know. I can't predict this show at all. Oh, I love the vocals in this song. Yep. I won't try and do it, but it's very cool. Totally musty UFO. They haven't really had the time to talk, right? They've got to reminisce about all the shit they've been through. Oh, we got, we got bullies. Oh, fuck you, buddy. Wow. Dude. They're mean. Back to reality, huh, kid? And he doesn't have any superpowers anymore. That's right. It's all his research material. Got a hot friend. Oh, and he's got a ball in the face. Oh. No, I wouldn't forgive that shit. Don't be a bully. It's uncalled yeah, that's what happened exactly. Mm -hmm. Totally right. Agony time. She just tired? It's been a long couple of days. She wants to talk about aliens, but she's got no one to talk to them about because her friends don't believe in the aliens. The kindred spirits. She wants to know what they eat. Do they wear underwear? Wow. Yeah, it's chomping at the bit. Yeah, fuck this school business. She needs to know things. Oh, they missed each other. Oh, no. It's Ken. His name is Ken. Oh, he's too quietly spoken and shy. 
Oh no, they're missing each other in the hallway. Dude. Oh, I hate this. They're just missing each other. I don't like it. Wow. They can't find each other. Oh no! Oh no! No, he's got the wrong idea. They're right there! Why can't they see each other? They're right there! Oh. <laughs> Oh no, mate. <laughs> oh, she's just there. Oh, come on. Boom. Oh, oh, they almost kissed. The teeth clashed. Oh, awkward. I've been trying to find you. Well, that, that clears up that confusion. That's, that's good. What? Oh, no. Oh. Oh no. Oh, what's hurt? <laughs> Here we go. Wow, they're, they're so in love. <laughs> the friends are like, what the fuck? <laughs> Wicked. They really get along. <laughs> What? Oh no. Oh, she's modified. Don't be so mean. His balls are gone. Peer pressure, man. Oh, nice being sincere. Ooh. <laughs> That's so cold. Oh, oh dude. Is that embarrassing to be friendly to me? Even her friends are like... Even her friends are like, oh, poor guy. <laughs> if he's just a friend, you'd let it slide with a wisecrack. Oh, there's more to it. They lo there's love. There's love, man. They love each other. But something's wrong. You entered the loo, and things are missing. Or bigger, and you wanted to show her. <laughs> oh, hi, hello. Another hot girl in the school. Uh-oh, triangle. Oh, she, she touching him. You're freaking out. What is going on? He's got some new mojo going on. Oh, no. So to another cute girl, and they're getting along. Oh. Oh. Oh, she's a bitch. She's being mean. Oh, she's a horrible person. Oh, why? Oh, and she heard all of it. She's about to, yep, knock her out. <laughs> Whoopsie. Don't know what happened. Why I washed up. 
Yeah, man, you knocked her flat with your charm. There you go. Stupid girls will never understand your charm. <laughs> she protected her friend. What a mean thing to do. I thought he was like, yeah, dude's got it going on. He's found his sexy mojo. No, she was being mean. So what does he want? Where's his deck? That was like a kiss. It was, was like a kiss. We're having an emotional moment. Yeah, by the way... Right? Is it? Is it? They're gone? What? Oh... Oh, he got the willy, but his balls are gone. How could you not notice the balls? I'm gonna peek into your soul? What? What? Is something inside of him? Don't you be at the end. Oh, I thought his credits were coming for a second then. Like, something's hiding inside of him. I thought that was the end of the episode. Wait, the cat th from the end credits. She's beating the shit out of him. There's something inside of him. And it's going in the cat. And then his balls should come back. Ooh. Oh, it is in the cat. From the credits. I was wondering if we were going to get something to explain it. Oh, shit. Isn't there very some, like something very similar in Bleach? That little toy that houses the spirit. It's been a while since I've watched Bleach. Oh, tough talk. What about your balls? Are they back? That's the first thing I'd be checking. Like the first thing. What? She survived? Turbo Granny's still around? Wow. Waiting to recover. Okay. Oh, shit. So she's hiding out in him. Cranky cat. She's adorable. Give me my balls back. Okay. So he did check straight away. So she's holding his balls for ransom? She literally got him by the balls? What? Do my bidding and I'll return your balls. He's not gonna... He's not killing anybody. What? Oh, she got some control. Shit. Yeah, wait, what? 
悪霊を体から追い出すためのもんだわよよっぽど頑張ってへばりついてたのかババアの意識だけが出てきちまったみてえだな Oh, okay てめえの霊力はガキに残ったま So he still got his powers They explained it well ちなみに意識を元に戻せるのはわしだけだが Oh shit 金八に向かってマヌケとか言ってなかったか You got turbo granny by the balls だったみか Cat turd so she's just a cat with the turbo granny consciousness, no powers. And Ocarina has got the powers. You can control it. Okay, driven by emotion. Right, the granny was protecting the girls, the dead murdered spirits. You're not all bad, Turbo Granny. <laughs> Wait, what? Where are the balls? You drop them somewhere? Doesn't she realize how important they are? You don't just drop somebody's balls somewhere. So the the chick with the, the pink hair, I'm colorblind, it's pink, right? It could be purple, it's pink. The one that was being mean to, well, she wasn't, she was being mean because she led him astray, making him think that he had a chance with her. And then Momo dropped the, the, the water tub on her head. So it looks like she's coming back in the next one to do something. A dangerous woman arrives. Maybe they're going to underestimate her. There's spirits and aliens and things and monsters running around in this town. So anybody could be possessed by anything at any point. So the biggest concern right now is uh, Okarun and his balls. Where did she drop them? So that is going to be the, um, the theme, the main plot for the rest of the series. Trying to find his balls, essentially his manhood, to um, grow and become a man with his balls back. <laughs> what? So Turbo Granny survived. She hid in his body. And then they exercised the, the, her consciousness into the, the cat doll. But, but, um, but Okarin still has a power. So I was wondering how they were going to cover that because I didn't think that he was going to be just reverted back to a human boy again because that would be boring. He needs to be a superhero, right? So he's um still got the abilities and when he does have them, when he transforms, he's still very depressed, which I find interesting as the whole show is really cool. Uh, uh, Granny was back in this one. Momo's cool. The way they were trying to find each other and just talk to each other the whole day at school. The, the teeth kissing, the, the, the miscommunication, showing off in front of her friends and just like saying, no, I don't, I don't want to know you, even though her friends were like, hey, that's totally cold. It was all working well, man. Their, their, their relationship is the, the backbone of this series. It's, it's awesome. All the supernatural stuff, all the craziness, all the craziness that surrounds them is an absolute bonus. But at the heart of it, these two characters are the core, and which I really, I really appreciate. And I want to see them get together. I will ship them hard. Ship, I ship them hard, I said. Anyway, I'm done. Catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.